Good afternoon. Today is the 24th of March and we were supposed to be recording uh, a video with a question and answer session this afternoon. My mother um, asked me to go and get her car cleaned. It looks, it looks a lot dirtier in real life than it does um, actually on film, I can assure you. And uh, I got about an eighth of a mile up the road. The car's been sitting for quite some time. She's not really been using it. And this happened. Uh, the tire pressure monitoring started going crazy. And uh, yes, my trip to the um, car wash, uh, which is one of the only places open at the moment, uh, was uh, curtailed. As you can see, it's it's got it's absolutely filthy. This car. And uh, I did try to use the uh, inflator pump. You get an inflator pump with this car. You don't get a spare wheel. So you've got to try the inflator pump, that were that's an official Mercedes one, and the air just came straight out. So it's either the valve is broken or there's a big hole in it. Uh, so I am currently stuck and waiting for the breakdown service, um, which isn't exactly the most fun thing I've ever done. Um, but just as well, I do have breakdown cover. In the Rover, uh, we have a spare wheel. In the Sanyong, we have a spare wheel. In this car, we do not. I will just open up and show you what we do have. So I've had to run the engine quite a bit because my mother's just not been using the car very much. Um, so if you open, open this up, you see that, yeah, spare distinctly lacking. There's a, t there's a towing eye and that's where the inflator kit lives, but yeah, we haven't we haven't got a spare wheel in this car. We do have a locking wheel nuts and those all come in handy a little bit. Uh, I have booked the car in to have a new tire fitted, a place I normally use uh, in Eastleigh, which isn't too far from here. But if we start the engine up, I'll show you what happens. The battery light's now gone out because when I first got the car, the battery light was, was going on. Let's just start her up. Yeah, I need to, just came to do that as well. So the battery's nice and charged now because I've been running the engine, but what we're going to have, if I just think, click this button here, as we can see there, we've got um, some music from Man in a Suitcase, which I'm going to have to turn off because I'm going to have a copyright infringement thing. There we go. Let's put that down. Should be some warning messages through here as well. Why are things so complicated? <laughs> Should have some warning messages. Give me one second, viewers. Oh yeah, that's why we're not getting the uh, tire pressure monitoring thing. Um, it's because we haven't actually moved since I restarted the car. Uh, yes, so I can't actually show you, but you can obviously see the tire is totally flat and uh, that's just the way that it is. Yes. It's not quite what I was expecting. I think this is a this example of why, you, you know, you um, should hopefully buy a car with a spare wheel. One moment. As you can see, viewers, we've had a bit of a de bizarre development in that because I've broken down and I have to go on, on this flatbed, um, I'm not allowed to go in the cab of the truck with the driver because of coronavirus regulations. So I'm actually sitting in the back of the Mercedes um, because it was the easiest one to clabber into. And uh, we're just heading on to the M3. It's a really strange experience. So the car's moving. But there's nobody driving. It's really, really odd. Um, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of exciting, but it is a bit weird. I just wonder if anybody on the motorway is going to wonder what on earth's going on. One thing that is good about my mother's car is uh, this panoramic roof, which means that uh, whatever the light is, you can pretty much get uh, the right sort of kind of uh, 
video uh, lighting and things, everything. Um, a lot of my cards aren't like that. Anyway, I did have um, my recorder with me, and I um, suppose we're just waiting for the breakdown service to go there now. Uh, so uh, let's talk about, you know, why you should have a car with a spare wheel and why... Well, I got my set to Lado uh, about four years ago now. Uh, we deliberately bought a car with a spare wheel because it's it's a right pain um, if you don't have one. Now, the MG3 we used to have didn't have a spare wheel. That was an option. Uh, you can just, I think, throw a Rover 25 or R8 or 45. You know, there's a load of different ones that will fit. Um, into it. The 25 is the one people tend to use. Um, but Toledo actually came with a spare wheel. Now... The two previous cars I had, which were both um, Chevrolets, both cruisers, one was a 2011 um, 1.6 petrol LT, one was a 2014 1.7 LT with the forbidden fuel. Um, now, those didn't have spare wheels at all. Again, it was an option. And if you bought, I think, one with a forbidden fuel engine, it cost £300 for a, a spare wheel. Why do you need to pay? The price of some cars on on the market for a spare wheel why can't they just give you one now i realize a lot of the reason why you don't get one anymore is to do with emissions regulations and space in the boot but i'm currently in this situation where i could try to find the can of tire sealant but i'm not really sure that's going to help very much whereas i know how to change a spare wheel i've i've, I've done it myself you know it's it's it, it's okay. I mean, it'd be a bit of a pain on a car like this because it's it's a bit heavy. Um, but yeah, it's really not as hard as um, as hard as it, as hard as it could be. You know, I I think every car should still come with a standard spare wheel, whether it's a space saver, and that's what we've got in the Rover Forty Five. That's what we've got in the uh, in the Sanyong. In that twenty nineteen car, it came with a spare wheel, which was fantastic. Every time I talk about <laughs> car and lift up the boot carpet i tried to find a there's a spare wheel in it and this is the reason why now i've got to inconvenience my breakdown company um i've got to you know not, not just put the wheel on go down to uh the tire place and get a new tire I and mean, i have rung ahead and told them i'm coming but i don't know when the breakdown service is coming you know there's obviously other things they're doing today um, it just seems a bit silly to have to call them out for this, but this is what I've had to do. Um, the inflator, you know, it, it, obviously if you've got pressure in the, if you've got it, you know, not a leak in the tire or the valve, then it's fine. You can use that, and it works fine. It's a Mercedes one, so it should do. Uh, but here we are. Um, should you buy a car with a spare wheel? I think the answer is yes, but a lot of manufacturers, due to you know emissions regulation and saving weight and the fact that people don't know how to change them apparently or something they don't give you the option and i think that's pretty bad um yeah i had to pull up in a place that it's not dangerous or anything particularly but it's not the most convenient place and i have to sort of delay my plans and everything um because i can't just get on with it myself um maybe i should learn how to use a can of tire sealant but I can't find it. Um, it doesn't seem to be here. So, yeah, there you go. You're left in this sort of situation by the fact that the manufacturer just doesn't think you can change a spare wheel on your own, which I can. I have done. Um, I'm sure many of you will feel the same way as me. And um, we'll just have to record that video about the question and answer session tomorrow. Um, a little bit of a bonus video will go up at some point. Um, might be delayed a little bit, but you know, that's just the way that it is. I have to wait here, and if I started recording it, I don't know if I would get through it before they turn up. So, um, thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching this impromptu little bit of um, footage that I've done. Um, sorry it's not particularly exciting, but I'm sure many of you have experienced the same thing. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for when the question and answer video is coming out, and also. Um, other reviews and things. Um, I wouldn't normally use this car. I just happen to have been going to take it for a wash, and hopefully I will be able to take it for a wash. Um, and um, I hope that uh, y you know you can share your experience in the comments below. Um, social media links are in the video description as well.
Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.